Namaste. Robin's on the wall inside my head, inside of me, holding all these thoughts. Beautiful beings, welcome back to my channel, Hippie Housewife. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about root flipping, also known as root interlocking. A few cons on the subject and then breaking it down and letting you know exactly what it is if you are unaware of what it is. So as a little disclaimer before we get started, if you are new to my channel, welcome as well. I post two to four videos a week all pertaining to the hippie housewife lifestyle. So definitely consider sticking around and subscribing. I would love to have you on board. Now without further ado, let's dive into the purpose of this content. So for starters, as I had promised, I will first explain for those of you who do not know what interlocking your roots means. So basically it is a method of root maintenance and most people or some people would get it done at a hair salon when they get their dreads maintained or can do it themselves. So basically you take a dreadlock, okay, and you go down to the base, the root source here, you split it in half making a V shape like this with an opening. Then you take a crochet hook, you go to the very end of the dreadlock and you thread it through the hole, bringing it out the other side and back down. So it would look something like this. You go through, grab the tip and pull it through back around. So now I'm going to explain to you why this is not a healthy method when it comes to root maintenance for your dreads. And this is why. Over time, you are going to create an extra amount of tension and pulling and tightening at the root source of your dreadlocks. So most would think that this is instant gratification or instant results of having that nice tight, because basically, let's think about it, the roots are loose and about this long, usually about an inch or so, and once you do the flip, you're bringing it shorter down and closer to the surface of your scalp. So therefore, people think that it is just instant results, it's awesome, everything is tighter, but the problem with root flipping or interlocking your roots on a continuous basis is over time, you are constantly doing that motion and creating these like twists. So these are gonna get tighter and tighter and tighter towards your scalp, causing increased risk of breakage and damage to your hair. So now let me give you an example really quick here. I'm sure you understand where I'm going with this, but I think this analogy works pretty nice. So let's picture a rope holding onto a weight, okay? The weight is the dreadlock, the rope is your roots. Over time, if you are continuously splitting that rope and taking the weight and pushing it through the hole, back down, through the hole, back down, this area is going to get tighter and tighter and the rope where it's been split is going to continue to wind up and create more tension and over time will start to fray. So when you have frayed pieces that are not sound and structured or strong holding onto this weight system, it is eventually going to break off. So you are also increasing the risks of losing the dreadlock entirely over time. Now, let me give you some peace of mind. If you have already been doing this or know somebody that has been doing this, it is not the end of the world if you are at least aware and educated on the risk factors behind it. So, you can stop doing the root flipping or the root interlocking and you can give it some time to heal up and just let it do its thing. I would do very minimal maintenance during this time besides washing and separating and conditioning your scalp because let's face it, your scalp definitely needs some loving at this point. But the dreadlocks themselves, I would leave them go a little bit. Now, imagine the V shape, okay? And then right up here is the scalp, all right? Your dreadlocks will continue to grow, your hair will continue to grow, and eventually the V will start to grow downwards, and then the dread itself will start to kind of close up a little bit. 
and then continue the growth downward. When that happens and you have enough of the hair that's not been manipulated or constantly twisted into a V shape separating the dreadlock itself, you will be able to then combine everything together and I would use a latch crochet hook in doing this. This is my best friend. It's in a lot of my content if you're not already familiar with my channel. But this sucker opens and closes when you push it through the dread. It grabs the hair when it's open, closes as you are pulling it back through. So you are decreasing any chances of breakage to your hair. I would also amp up the conditioning and the essential oils because a lot of them have really awesome properties that will help with regeneration and hair growth and nourishment to your scalp. So that is my opinion guys. I had somebody reach out to me and ask me for my advice and the more research that I did because I do not use this method for myself or my dread clients, I discovered that this is not a very safe method when it comes to root maintenance. There are loads of others out there that you can use instead. I will leave those goodie links down below for you. I have many videos describing each and every one of them that are a much safer route to use than root flipping or interlocking your root when it comes to dread maintenance. So if you like this content, guys, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it was helpful. There is no judging whatsoever coming from me. Everybody's experience and dread journey is different, so do what you think is best. Do loads of research, watch more videos, read on some forums before you make your ultimate decision in this manner. But good luck, guys. I hope the content was helpful, and I hope you have a very blessed day. I will see you all again very soon. Bye.